What's up, everybody? It's your favorite What's in the Box. What's in the Box, favorite nerd? And today we are looking at a mystery box. Now, this isn't a real proper review. This is a gift that was given to me uh, by a dear friend of mine, and he's starting an entrepreneurial endeavor, and I wanted to make sure that I, I showed it. Now, I never do What's in the Box or Open the Box. I never do that kind of stuff. It's just not me. I'm not a knock towards those that do it. It's just not me. But I wanted to do this live, so to speak, because... I want the reaction that I have to it to be 100% genuine. So I'm seeing it for the first time, you're seeing it. For something like this, I felt like it was important. Now, I know the general premise of what this is, but I don't know what it looks like. And we'll talk about the guy that sent it to me and everything, but he was very excited. He wanted to show me pictures of it, and I said, no, 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 because I don't want to see it. So that made me feel as though it was going to be a good thing. You know, usually if somebody's not proud of something, then they don't want to show you. But he really wanted to show me, so that made me even more excited. So let's uh, open the box. I'm just kidding. What is it with guys that do stuff like this to open up a box? I mean, I, I don't care. You know, ultimately, like, you know, whatever makes you happy, opening up your box is fine. But, you know, right tool for the right job, Mac. So we're going to use a little handy-dandy Gerber uh, multi-tool. Spring-loaded. Given to me as a gift by Mr. Adam Russman. Uh, and it's quite nice. I, 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 regardless of what's in here that I already feel confident about, I strongly recommend this. This is a really, the suspension Gerber. It's really a, quite nice. All right, so let's try to find the best way to get in here. All right, still sealed, as you can see. And I know that was a little lackluster. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but let's see. We can't. You know, real quick before we do, did I make everybody go, oh, no. Um, I hate when I, I, there's, I hate opening gifts in front of people because I, I, I feel like my reaction to those gifts is being judged. Are you familiar with that feeling? All right. Peanuts. That's the worst. But we'll forgive it. We'll leave this in packaging. We'll open up that next. It's like a, uh, those Russian dolls, isn't it? This should really be it. <laughs> what? Look at that. Great Guga Muga. Let's open up this. So, are those? They can't be. They're magnets. Holy smokes. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so let's back out and get a better look and we'll talk about this in more detail. Unfortunately, this requires a bit more explaining than I initially intended upon, but ultimately it will be worth it, I hope. When I was going to put this together, it has some electronics in it and there was an electronic issue. I debated on how to handle that for the video, and ultimately decided, because I was like, should I just go through it all again? But my initial response to seeing it out of the box is so genuine, I didn't want to lose that. I contacted Crashbox, and they told me they had just, like, over that last night, had kind of mastered the electronics bit of business. And to send it back, they'd fix it, send it back to me again. So that's what happened, and that's where we are. And as a result, uh, the electronics in it are working quite well. Let's get a little fancy. Let's make a bigger kind of to-do. That's pretty awesome. Like, I love how the light picks up all of the dry brush accents and gives it this form of texture, along with that crack in the, in the concrete, so to speak. It looks really good. Let me turn the lights back on, and then we can talk more about it. There's a number of cool things. First of all, this battery pack, it's on the side here. And... Click off. He did dry brush the battery pack so it blends in fairly well. And then it's made up, as you can see, of one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of styrofoam, and then whatever it took to build the Decepticon piece out. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, 
there's also the magnets that connect it, which we spoke about, and once it's in, it's secure. It's so secure, in fact, that uh, it had a, the, the one magnet got stuck. So here's underneath. Uh, he did do some painting underneath, which is totally not necessary. But then it also has these little matte pieces, like uh, Velcro, on the, on, the, on the four corners so that it won't slip around once you put it in, in its proper place. And as you can see, it comes with his logo and then made exclusively for Skullface. How tough is that? And let's see what else I wanted to show off. Oh, just the amount of LEDs that are in there. So it's, it's I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's four, it looks like on both sides. So that's pretty cool. It's all hand painted, this, this darker gray. And then dry brush with that lighter gray. And then there's a couple there's a couple purple accents throughout that I picked up on, but outside of that, uh, that's the, the gist of it, so to speak. I asked him for a Dio, and because I want to display it with my DJD guys. Now, unfortunately, I'm at a bit of an unfair disadvantage because I don't know how big the, the big ones are going to be, so I just kind of went with a rough estimate. But I'm thinking that if I put these two out on the corners... I put Tarn kind of front and center. I'm hoping to finagle the other two up there in the back. And he makes this custom to your shelf. So you give him the dimensions. I gave him the dimensions of mine. I'll show you how that works here. There's my shelf. And as you can see, it goes in there like a glove. Pretty much seam to seam. And then goes against the back as well, seamlessly. So that's how it will look on my shelf. And then, of course, with the light on and everything, it'll be pretty impressive. So let me give my recommendations uh, to him and the company, because uh, I believe it's like a family venture that they're starting. And then I will give the pros, and then I'll give you all the contact information and, and technical logistical information that I am aware of. Here are my recommendations. This thing does have to get shipped, and it is styrofoam. So it's, you're talking about paint on styrofoam. And as you can see, he did a pretty good job packaging it. We had peanuts. We had bubble wrap, we had cardboard, and then that was all inside of one box, and then that box was wrapped in addition. So it's very well packaged, but as a result, being as though it's styrofoam, there are little nicks here and there along the way. It's not really visible to the naked eye, and I don't even know if I can spot one looking at it right now. Mm, I'm not even sure if I can spot one looking right now, but I know I have seen, you know, just the smallest little it's because it, it's so hard to tell what's paint and what's not so if there was a way and this is styrofoam i think i see one i think i see one just to give you an example right there let me see if i can't right there there's a little nick and it's styrofoam so i don't know what is realistic in terms of of my recommendation but if Crashbox could consider or find some sort of sealing agent to put on it to kind of keep everything intact, I think it would greatly benefit. My only other recommendation is to have something secured for the battery pack. Because I mean, once it's in place, it's ultimately fine, and there's no there's no issue with it. But for the review, you know, like the battery pack would slip out of the side because it's just held in there with tension, right? So. If there was a way to do that where it was more secure and more seamless, that would be even better. And outside of that, those are my only real criticisms. There's a ton of love here. There's a ton of, like, there's, there's pride here, which I do appreciate. Uh, I think that it looks dynamic. I think that the magnets are incredibly smart. I love the little personal touch on the back. I hope that they all are custom and made to order. I don't think he's mass producing any, but he may. But I'm sure if you were to order a custom, he'd probably do the same little sticker bit for you. So it's like special. It's for you. I like the little mats on the bottom. I think that there's... So what are we talking about here? We're talking about one thing of styrofoam at the bottom and then a couple layers that are cut up and carved and sculpted in order to make look interesting once it's painted for a display. But within that, he was able to consider everything he could and added a mat at the bottom so that it doesn't slip. Add this, the magnets between the two pieces so that it doesn't budge. 
add the electronics, add the different textures, add the paints and all that. So ultimately, I think it's beautiful and he's just getting started. So I want to know where he's going to be next year. You know, like who knows? Now, let me tell you any contact information because I'm imagining that most people are going to want to get something like this for their shelves. I know I'm contemplating getting more. I know he has a Facebook page and he has an email. I will put those both in the description below down there. I know that the starting base for a custom job like this is 50 bucks and then things kind of work up from there. He also does everything made to order. So you give a certain particular shelf dimension, he's going to be able to make that and cater to your shelf. And he does more than Transformers. I know he does some, um, there's one he did that's like an Autobot logo and he's obviously done the Decepticon logo now. Uh, but he's willing to do anything. He's up for it. He, whatever. Masters of the Universe, Star Wars, I would imagine. Star Wars is probably going to be a little bit more challenging. But I know he loves Star Wars. So I'll be very curious to see how that comes about. But he's willing to do whatever kind of theme that you can possibly think of to suit your needs. Also, if any of you guys are going to TFCon, I will be there. And I know he will be there at TFCon. And he will have pieces there already, like pre-made pieces. If you are interested in buying one of those, he'll be there. This is a guy in the community. Uh, he started this company, Crashbox, and I love to support people within the community, especially people that are doing creative stuff like this. And he's a friend of mine, and I trust the guy, so I'm willing to forward that information on to you folks. Happy Saturday. Uh, no fluff today, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be putting some money in his pocket, because that's what I need to do, find more places to put money outside of my bank account. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Oh, you know what? One more time. Peace through tyranny.